Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stanley with tonight's Deep Dive. It is January 24th, 2018. I'm going to take a look at coffee tonight, uh, even though there's nothing really popping up here. With the, I don't know, the interaction with the dollar index, there's a lot of funky things that are taking place, and it's uh, it's having an influence on a number of different markets uh, that are not necessarily setting up well for some of the technicals. So for all intents and purposes, I'm going to focus on a different market. So with the uh, the coffee market, we have the trends to the downside, we've got the technical rating to the downside, and we have the seasonal accuracy point to the downside, but it's there's a few things that are really p starting to pop up here that I think that we want to start looking at the long side, despite all of the negativity here that we're seeing with uh, some of these tendencies. So I'll just point out that uh, on the the pro alerts uh, that there really isn't anything that's popping up here tonight. So I'm really kind of going off script here a little bit and I want to really kind of show what's taking place here. So here is the five year seasonal tendencies and I'll show you the 10 year seasonal tendencies. And you can see this little uh, rectangle, or excuse me, this little triangle that's right here. You can see that there's still a little more downside according to uh, to this, and uh, both on the five and the and the uh, the ten years. In fact, why don't we take a look at the five, ten, and fifteen years? You can see that uh, both the the five and the ten years point down that the fifteen years is a little bit different. But what you'll see is that uh, with all three of the markets, that there's a tendency to go up to the upside until almost until the end of March. Then they kind of disperse and they kind of go in different directions. Uh, but uh, no matter what we're looking at, for the most part, we like the 10 year analyses for the most part. It will be choppy. There's going to be um, uh, surges and then retracements and surges. But uh, going into the latter part of February, coming into March, uh, there there's a bit of a surge to the market. The other thing I want to point out here is that if we take a look at, uh, again, coffee, that we've been in a downtrend for a long time. We've had a lot of underwater equity thrust, uh, meaning that there's been a lot of pressure to the market. That's what this red refers to. It's the underwater volume index um, and what basically happens is that when a market is not hitting new highs it's obviously in a drawdown drawdown meaning it's not hitting new highs no matter how you want to look at it and the way that the, the the coffee market has been trading as of late it's been a long time since it's hit new highs and that there's a lot of weight and I can't really express it any other way there's just a lot of weight to the market and that's what the red represents weight and so the longer you're in a drawdown the accumulation of that weight has uh, pressure on it and in many cases when the pressure becomes so great then the market kind of reverses course it just can't accept any more of that weight that's kind of a long convoluted way of saying that the market has hit a, uh, a three-year low just recently and we're kind of anticipating that the market could have uh, a bit of a retracement. In other words, it's due for something. The seasonals are telling us one thing, which is a little more accurate than what I'm describing here with the uh, the UVI, Underwater uh, Volume Index. But I think you get the point that there's been an extended period where the market has been overdone and typically you see in those types of conditions that the market has a tendency to want to, to head higher. So I'm going to show what the signals are showing, which is nothing, uh, where there's actually 15 systems that are all flat the market. I'm going to be introducing some more systems into the mixture, um, and those systems are starting to go long the market. So in the coming, uh, maybe the next week or so, I'll start to introduce uh, some more systems into the mixture. But for right now, with what we have access to, everything is flat. I'm just letting you know that other systems that are going to be coming into the mixture are starting to, to look long the market, which is the precedence of what I'm talking with the seasonals, the UVI, and what the systems are doing. As far as the grading system, I'll just point this out that with the, the old and the new systems, there's really not a big mixture between them. I'm just 
differentiating them between the old and the new uh, that the uh, uh, no matter how you look at that this is the the new and there wasn't any change whatsoever between the old and the new as far as the grading of the market there are subtle differences obviously between an introduction of longer term train time frames into the into the portfolio mixture based upon what some people are looking for those that are, at least that I'm listening to and what you'll find is that uh, either between the old and the new that we still had a nice high a grading for coffee which is a good thing in fact you'll find over time that there really isn't a major difference between uh, the gradings of the systems that are being incorporated but nonetheless I'm, I'm pointing out the the obvious here so long story short if we take a look at uh, coffee in itself it has been coming down and has been testing this new support level we had this great support we broke below that and for for quite some time there's been a period where it's been actually just simply moving and meandering and doing a lot of nothing there's been pops along the way no doubt but there is still a nice little support to the market a few markets um, as of late have broken through support levels major support levels uh, sugar as an example uh, but nonetheless coffee right now is still holding uh, and we'll see what does take place here in the the coming days and weeks uh, but I would anticipate that the systems as a whole are going to start to go more and more along the market and that we should see that basing that we showed in the UVI uh, that was showing uh, that three-year low I think that we'll start to have a uh, uh, retracement from that low retracement meaning that the low is hit and that we're going to see a surge when I say retracement to the upside uh, and that uh, we should see uh, uh, a more longer term bullish uh, impetus to the market so let's see what does take place but uh, for coffee right now it did have a nice uh, move to the day which kind of popped up on my radar where it was up a little bit over a percent or so uh, and it's starting to show uh, some some promise and so that being the case that when you're looking at this particular market uh, just be aware that what uh, you should be looking at if you're trading the futures obviously it's just coffee KC is the uh, the, the symbol if you're trading the uh, the ETF Joe J O uh, is the one that you'd be looking at uh, for any type of a search to the upside so despite the fact that we've got uh, all the trends to the negative we've got the uh, technicals to the downside as far as the general overview and we got the seasonals short term still negative uh, but longer term meaning into the uh, the latter part of February uh, uh, getting close to March but not there yet uh, we would be looking for a bit of a pop, uh, pop to the market so this is kind of more of an early warning signal than it is anything that's popping up on our deep dive that that warrants uh, review but I've been anxious to, to start to look at uh, coffee and I wanted to at least point that out we'll see what actually does like take place we'll see as to whether or not any of the uh, show me's uh, meaning the uh, the deep dive uh, pro alerts start to show anything uh, we'll see as to whether or not any of the other indicators really start to uh, to pop up here but this is me just simply looking at the market and realizing that there, there's opportunity to to be had there so let's see what does take place and uh, for all intents and purposes you want to wa wait for the systems uh, rather than uh, our anticipation as to what's going to take place because our mo is one of which we don't believe necessarily in what our eyes show us we're more inclined to to look at what the numbers show us so that's a polite way of saying we react to the market we don't anticipate the market and right now this whole overview of coffee has been more of an anticipation and I just want to be quite frank that my philosophy has and will always be one of which we always watch for the systems more so than we do uh, any perspective and, and what we think might be taking place we always watch and, and wait and react to what the markets actually do uh, show to us so the systems being flat there's still opportunity and uh, we'll see as to whether or not uh, our our eyes show us something here over the course of the next uh, uh, I'll even say the next two or three weeks or so so early warning signal for all its purposes um, so from that standpoint that's what our review is for tonight we'll take a look at another market tomorrow. Thanks very much.